Tonight, our top story, hands-free driving, a bill that would ban the use of cell phones while driving, passed the Senate Transportation Committee today in Nashville. This bill will now go to the Finance Committee before heading to the House floor and then eventually to Governor Bill Lee's desk. Chantel Batista spoke with the bill's sponsor, Tennessee Representative John Holsclaw of Elizabeth Den this afternoon and got reaction from some East Tennessee drivers. I want to be first in implementing things that saves lives, not that takes lives. A bill banning holding a cell phone while driving is moving forward to the Tennessee House for approval. This bill requires that you cannot have it in your hand. You need to either mount it or use a, some type of Bluetooth device. The bill's sponsor, Representative John Holsclaw of Elizabethton, has pushed to make Tennessee a hands-free state since 2014. Uh, so, you know, I'll be elated if, if this bill goes through and I and I think back how many lives have been lost due to me not be able to get this bill passed through. According to DistractedFree.org, Tennessee has the highest rate of distracted fatalities in the nation, nearly five times higher than the average. They average over 1,600 crashes per month. Residents here in the Tri-Cities area reacting. My opinion on the hands-free bill is that any bill that's enacted to help save lives I'm in favor of. GPS maps, a phone call, even reaching over to hit, you know, accept the phone call, even if it's mounted, you know, you're reaching over. It's ridiculous. Where does it end? It doesn't end, and it's just government intrusion. Others like Michelle Leatherwood said this bill may impact her everyday work routine. I'm a nurse that makes home visits, and uh, so I'm driving in my car a lot. I have to call pharmacies or call the office or even call my patients. Um, it would be really hard to do my job if I had to stop every time I had to use my phone. As for Representative Holsclaw, he remains optimistic towards the fate of this bill. You, you'll have a lot of people supporting, but you've always got those on the opposite side. But we have a lot more on the, the, the green side than the negative side right now. If all goes well and the bill becomes reality, the hands-free bill would come into effect on July 1st of this year. Sarah?